Well, thank you. Um, today. Okay, yeah, I might have to do that. All right, keep moving. Yeah, if I stand there, maybe. Is that okay? <laughs> Don't toy with my emotions. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to talk about motivation, which I think is kind of ironic. Um, but here we go. Ready? It happens to us all. All right, we go to a great training or rally or roundup, and we're pumped. We are so pumped. The sky's the limit. You know, we're gonna move mountains. We're so excited. Two days later, life happens. Right? Everyone's going, uh, oh, life happens. And our motivation starts to hit, get down with its fire. You know, our momentum vanishes and our business suffers. It goes on the back burner because we put life in front of it. Um, you know, life happens. We just can't find that willpower anymore to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Who's felt that way? Right, good. This training's for you. Let's go. It's gonna happen. Life is gonna happen. It happens to every single person. There's a funny quote that I love about momentum and about motivation, and it's something like, I think I actually wrote it. Motivation doesn't last, neither does bathing. That's why it's recommended daily. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't last. It's amazing if you need it. That's why we have training every single month, right? You get re-pumped and re-motivated and re-inspired. And you go home and life happens. So we need to kind of let our faith be bigger than our fears. And a lot of times we get unmotivated because something bad happens. So then we let that fear take over and then we kind of throw the towel on because it's easier to do it that way. Life happens and things you hear from your business are going to happen that you're not going to be thrilled about. It's going to present obstacles and challenges along the way. Um, and as in life, it's your premier business, direction is more important than speed. So I don't understand why we're all, and myself included, I'm talking to myself through this whole training, why we're in such a race to that finish line. You know, I mean, really, why can't we just enjoy the journey? That's our theme for the year for this group, is enjoying the journey, the ups and the downs. It's not a race, you just have to keep moving. That's the key. You have to keep moving. When you're stagnant, it doesn't work. Yes, please. Please. Um, always have someone motivated by those things to encourage you. Uh huh. I have one. Good. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about that a little later in this, but that's what Kim, uh, the, lady, the wonderful lady you're sitting next to you right now, she refers to as her positive premier people, her PPPs, her triple P's. You can be mine, Cindy. I'm going to call you. Okay. Um, so you're going to face obstacles. Uh, there's another little quote I love. It says, smooth seas have never made skillful sailors. Does that make sense to you? Right? So there's also the quote about the arrow that I love. An arrow can only be shot by pulling it backwards. So when life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means it's going to launch you into something great. So just focus and keep aiming. Keep moving. And that's the most important thing. When God pushes us to the edge of difficulty and it's going to happen, we need to really trust in him completely because one of two things is going to happen. All right? He's either going to catch us when we fall or he's going to teach us how to keep on flying. All right? So we really have to be honoring him by not beating ourselves up. Um, a lot of times we be, we're our own worst enemy. We'll beat ourselves up and we think we have failures and blah, 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 blah. We all do it. So we need to honor him by vowing to not do that anymore. And we need to hold ourselves to a standard of grace and not perfection. Because that's really, really important. There is not one person in this whole world who's perfect. I know you all are looking at Lori going, she's perfect. <laughs> I love you, Lori, but you're teasing me. Okay? She's so, perfect to me. Yeah.
conditions to match your destiny. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. We just have to remember when times get tough and they're going to get tough that we need to do small things in the right direction. It's all about starting simple and giving yourself credit for moving. Even if it's a simple thing like, I called my premier mom today. I didn't want to talk to anybody and I called her. You're moving, okay? When you're stagnant, it's not good. So ask yourself what you're doing today and if that's going to help you move to where you want to be closer for tomorrow. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, All right, so then you get motivated and then what? Well, motivation gets you going and habits keep you going, all right? Motivation does die down, and then excuses come out, and they rear their ugly heads, and you get to decide. You can either have excuses, or you can have results, but you can't have both. So making excuses takes the same amount of energy as it does to do something, okay? Whether it's to reach out to a hostess, or to make a phone call for a booking. Um, You need to decide if your excuses are more important than your dreams. You can't get much done if you're only working when you feel like it. So you need to be stronger than your excuses. Um, It is hard. It's really hard. We've all been there. Um, Self-motivation is difficult, but if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Um, Your tears and your excuses, they're going to get you temporary sympathy from yourself and maybe from a few. Um, But really, you know, when hard work is partnered with persistence, that's when you get results. you have to decide that today you're going to do what others won't so that tomorrow you can do what others can't. You really have to decide that. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It's not. And you're in this business for a specific reason. So you have to remember that, even when it's tough. Um, being your own boss is a great thing. I love it. But it's also one of the biggest challenges that we face. It's really hard. Um, you need to work your business like a boss. You cannot be wishy-washy. You really need to hold yourself more accountable, even when you don't feel like it. Um, everybody wants instant gratification, but it doesn't work that way. Well, I had an OP and she didn't sign up. I am never sponsoring. <laughs> okay, good luck. Um, so that's not the right attitude, right? You want to stay the course. You don't want to give up. If you want to be a successful jeweler, you need to start acting like a successful jeweler. If you want to be a senior leader, you need to start acting like a senior leader. You need to find out what they do and you need to do it. It's a simple system, but you know what they do? They do it consistently. And then they get up the next day and they do it again and then they get up the next day regardless of the results, and they do it again, and again, and again. You know, how many of you have, or or currently, are working a job outside of Premier? Okay, guess what? Were there days you didn't want to go to work? Yeah, but you do it anyways, because your boss expects you to be there, right? It's the same thing, you need to be your own boss, and you need to work even when you don't feel like it. Every decision you make to work or to not work, to make that phone call, to not make that phone call, either brings you closer or further away from your goals and your dreams. So remember that you're either going to be working for your dreams or you're going to be working for somebody else's. Oh, my dreams. Okay. Um, when you don't make an effort to understand like what you want and who you want to become, you allow other people to shape who you become by default. You don't want that. Okay. Um, I read somewhere that there's a difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested, you do it when it's convenient. When you're committed, you do it. Period. You get it done. Um, am I saying that you're never allowed to have a bad premiere day or week or month or year? No. No. Um, that'd be unrealistic. But when things come up and you don't feel, or when you feel like excuses coming on, or like just you're annoyed by stuff, and you have to remember that that's the enemy trying to knock you down. That it really is. They're trying to knock you off your course because you're getting closer. Um, so here's what you do. You throw yourself a mini pink part. Okay? Do it. It feels good. Just do it a little bit. Just a mini one. Not a full out one. But just a little mini one. Yeah, time it. Two minutes, two minutes. Just do it. Um, a mini pity party. Let it wash all over you. And then you know, you know what you do? You get back to work. Because that is how you show the enemy that you mean business. You get back to work. And then you're going to try and knock it down again. You get back to work. You need to empower yourself. Spend time with positive people. So your positive premier people, call your mom and tell her that you are down and you need to be picked up because she cannot read your mind. So she needs you to tell her that. Because how is she going to know to do that if you don't communicate that with her? Um, Don't enable yourself to continue the cycle. You need to find something that inspires you um, and you need to know your why. That is the biggest one, knowing your why. Okay. When you understand what your why is and you can feel it in every fiber of your being, no obstacle 
no obstacle, no hostess that gave you a hard time, no return or exchange, no canceled show is going to stand in your way. No bad season of life, okay, is ever going to stand in your way when you understand what your why is. So I'm going to challenge you to really know what your why is, and it has to be more than to make extra money, because money is green paper. What is it going to do, and how is that going to make you feel, and why is that important? I mean, that is really what that why is. Um, excuses are going to keep you broke the rest of your life, so you need to excel with your own progress and don't compete with others. Um, choose self-esteem and not self-pity. And don't compare your lowlights with somebody else's highlights. We all do that. Because comparison is really the thief of joy. Um, every single person in this room is unique and has unique talents and is here for a specific reason and they're on their own journey. And we have to remember that. Um, the difference between who you are and who you want to become is what you do. So never let your fear decide your fate. This is my favorite thing. Be a hopeaholic. <laughs> I love it. I'm a hopeaholic. <laughs> so the goal is growth, okay, not perfection. Don't ask God to move mountains if you're not willing to pick up a shovel. You need to do the work too. But remember, you just need to keep moving. Alright? So now here what we're gonna do is we're gonna everybody's gonna take a piece of paper and I want you to just really quick, I want you to jot down what your why is. Now you might have a lot of reasons why you're doing this, but what's one of the main ones, okay? of your why. So if it's extra money, I need money, why? What is that money going to do? Oh, it's gonna help me buy a house. So why is that important to you? Why is buying a house important? Whatever it may be, okay? And then, here's just two steps, okay? The next thing I want you to do is write down three things. The next time you're feeling low motivation, right? Like where you need a little pick-me-up, what are three things you can do to keep moving? Small things. What are the three small things that you're gonna do and you're gonna put into place? when you feel that, um, that come up. And that's the end of the training. Love it, love it. <laughs>